So for this circuit, the first thing we're going to do, again, is simplify the circuit. So when you look at it, you should notice 2060. How are these combined? Series. So we're going we're gonna to first uh, simplify that. So we'll leave this. We're going to leave the 40 alone so that this is still 40. And we are going to fix the 20 and the 60, right? Those are in series. So what do we do? add them up. Okay, so we're going to add those up and we get 20 plus 60 equals 80. Okay, so that's going to be 80 ohms there when we add them up. Alright, so then you look at this and you notice what are these? How are these combined? In parallel. So you're going to do the 1 over function, 1 over 40 plus 1 over 80 equals 1 over the answer. And when you do that you get one single circuit with how much resistance? 26.7 ish, right? 6.6 six repeating probably. And then remember this was 80 volts. Alright, so that's step one. And then step two is now work our way backwards, solving for missing V's and missing I's. So here we know the V, we know the R, we're missing the I. So we're just going to go I equals V over R. 80 volts over 26.6 .6 ohms, and you get how much? 3 amps. Okay, and if you don't round, you should get ex like exactly 3 amps. So that's our current here. Now we're going to start placing that onto our s slightly more challenging circuit. So 3 amps goes right here. Remember, this is coming into here, and then it splits, but we have 3 amps initially coming through here. All right, notice this is a nice parallel circuit. So if this was 80 volts, what's true about the voltage across both of these? They're the same. So this should both get 80 and 80. So this should have 80 volts across it, right, total. Is that off the screen? There we go. 80 volts across it. So what are we missing on this circuit? The current through each branch, right? So now we're going to use Ohm's law. I equals V over R. We're going to go 80 divided by 40. So 2 amps through this branch. We're going to go 80 divided by 80. 1 amp through that branch. Do a mini check, 2 plus 1, total, 3. Okay, let's just place everything that we know here. So we know 3 amps is the current through here. We know 2 amps is coming through this branch. We know 1 amp is coming through this branch. And we know one other thing. What's that? Okay, the voltage across the 40 is 80. Okay, 80 volts across that. I'm going to start filling some stuff in. So this 80. 80 volts, 2 amps, 160 watts. And again, if the question just was, what's the power of the 40, you can stop at this point. Actually, you could have probably stopped back here. Um, we know the current through these. We can now find the voltage. V equals I times R, 20 volts. So the 20 ohms is 20 volts, 1 amp. 20 watts. V equals I times R. 1 times 60. 60 volts. 60 volts, 1 amp. 60 watts. Let's look back at our power concept. Which of these is the brightest? The 40 again, okay? Why is the 40 the brightest? Okay, this ref this one receives the full voltage. Okay, actually, there's two reasons. One re the main reason is because it receives the full voltage, whereas these have to divide up the voltages, right? This gets the full 80, this gets less 60 and 20. But the other reason is this one happens to have a lower resistance, therefore it also gets more current. 
that's why it's dramatically bigger. And which one's next? 60. Why is 60 brighter than 20 this time? Okay, because it's in series, which means they get the same current. So how do you tell which one's brighter? The one with the most voltage. So the one with the most resistance is going to therefore have the most voltage. 